What is up, everybody? Man, I am hanging out late in the shop tonight doing some computer dupli doops and yeah, you know, whatever. Uh, nerding out, having a good time, and I thought I would share this fun little bit of gang tooling with you guys. So, before I make you dizzy, let's get all this stuff out of the way, and we shall start from the beginning. So, my table on the lathe. This is what comes factory on my lathe, and that uh, shop task tornado, as it's called. Yeah. Um comes with this big old honking table on it and technically this thing is also set up to have a gantry mill included you can buy it with that option I opted out wasn't all that great I didn't want to have lathe mill all in one with this current setup and I don't have it on here but if you could imagine a spindle sitting here and it's rotating sort of in this direction work piece so say a, a bar of brass or titanium is going to be sticking out here and spinning so this table is about 18 and a give or take 18 three quarters this way inches mind you and from this direction it's about i thought it was eight and a half maybe a little over eight and a half a little uh I'll see, give or take eight points. Yeah, see, just a little over eight and a half. But um, what I've got now on the table, if you guys have watched it, uh, any of the Freebie Fridays where I've done a few little demos, walk through making a part, uh, seen any of the make videos I've got up, they're just, they're, you know, just watching CNC make its run its program that's it's pretty cool stuff so it's kind of mesmerizing but um i've got these what i think there's four or five different just, just blocks man they're just these ugly cylinder blocks that are holding up a quick change tool post and some other crappy old gang tooling i found off of ebay for cheap and, um, you know, you, you buy this stuff cheap, cheap, and then you get it and you realize why it's so cheap. But uh, it's worked, and I've made it work, and I'm tired of trying to keep it working because it's um, the two blocks I have in the middle are aluminum. They're soft, they're small, they're thin. They, they don't hold... Uh, they don't hold still very quick or very well. They just they kind of they kind of wiggle every so, every once in a while, especially when I'm doing heavy cuts. Titanium drilling is a pretty heavy operation. You got to have a lot of pressure, and um, you know, if you don't want that stuff getting too hot, melting a bit, uh, you know, causing problems. You, you need a lot of that, that good good heavy force. So, um, as you guys have you know heard me mention gang tooling is it's where it's at for me for my small parts and uh, this is my attempt at getting uh, I guess a little more dialed in a little more heavy duty and a lot more accurate and I'll you know, throw in some flexibility with this whole this whole uh, feature and design of what I've got going so I have a block of mild steel I don't even remember what kind it was, and it's just a chunk that's about, uh, what is that, a one and a half inch, and I got about 14 inch chunk of it, and I'm le I'll tell you guys about the space here in a minute, but um, to say that that is going to be the new base for holding, what is these, riser blocks, and these are a Tormach purchase item. And these these little pieces you, you can pull off of their website. They've got little step files you can pull, import them, copy paste them, however you want to say, whatever you want to do with them. And they also have these little these uh, three post or three hole gang blocks. And these guys are going to hold your drill bits, 
center holes and you can also put a you know a boring bar in there if you want if you've got the right adapter for it the holes are about three quarters and then you have to either make or purchase a a, a, sh a spacer sort of a little cylinder that would go in there and hold the exact you know sort of a tool that you wanted for the space i've also got this guy coming which is uh, their posi lock, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what they call it. It's a posi lock little sort of quick change tool post. It'll have a little dovetail feature that's uh, that would rest in this little inset right here. And there's bolts that go through. And, and I'm now noticing I've got something going on here. I messed up, so I'll go back and fix that. No big deal. Um, but these bolts would pull this dovetail piece in and you would have a block that sits inside the dovetail and it, uh, you know that block's going to hold another tool and yeah, I might go ahead and make the block and put a tool in it kind of if you guys want to see something like that but hopefully here within the next week I will have uh, all of this part here and the riser blocks i've got this stuff already and i just need the riser blocks i gotta get this thing but the whole reason for this design of all of these fun little parts here is just so i can figure out what this thing needs to be and by that i mean i need to know its thickness and size and where my bolts need to be to hold it down to the table so and I've got these in here these are representative exact T slots as to where they are on the table exactly so th this this space right here is two inches from center two inches from center and this guy's just dead center on the table so I've got the holes to line up to match the T slots and of course I've got an overhang here so I can kind of push this this whole piece over and not have a hole inside the T-slot. That's no good. But uh, I also like a little overhang here to get this table back and away from the spindle a little more so I've got more room for the, uh, the worm gear covers and other things that would be living down here. I'm going to eventually design a parts catcher some other fun stuff so and the, the whole reason for this whole design like I said is just to make this so it's about an inch and a half high and from the table right here from this top I need to be three I had some notes over here 3.625 three and five eighths of an inch high all the way up here to be on center with my spindle all these parts all these tools need to be on center with the part that's the way they cut I mean obviously you want to drill bit if you're gonna cut a hole in the center of the diameter of the of the rod or the bead or the you know the um, magnetic quick release whatever I'm making it needs to cut a hole in the center I mean it's just you know that's just the way it is so but I needed to figure out how big of a spacer I needed to get these up high because this is their you know, Tormox little system that they use. So they got a riser block and then the gang tooling would sit in the riser block. So, but I'm also leaving myself about a tenth, maybe, maybe 200 to 150 thou difference so then I can just shim these guys up and down as I needed to get my center. So yeah, but hopefully that makes sense for you guys as far as this thing. I, I Like I said, I made this whole thing just to make this block. This little space right here is I'm going to go ahead and keep a quick change tool post there. And it will sort of live in this space. And the reason for that is I, I use Centroid. Centroid has its own tool work set or work uh, positioning system and you're gonna work off of a single tool so you can, I call it tool one that's a T0101 and from there you would measure 
all of these other tools. So once you find tool one, where it lives in space, X and Z axes on my lathe, once I know where it, that one is, because I, may, I manually raise it up or down to make it on center, so that the machine itself only needs to be, you know, my table runs in a X, sorry, you're flashing, I'm running X and Y. That whole thing will move around. So actually I could just say, well, I'm sorry, I said X and Y, X this way and Z this way as that table would move. So hopefully that makes sense. I didn't just confuse the hell out of you. But so from that tool, tool number one, you would measure, you'd start at number one, figure, figure where it's at and X and Z axes. And then you would go to tool two, tool three, measure tool four, tool five, tool seven, and it's so on and so forth. But the work coordinate system you start up the machine you got to figure out where just tool number one is and from there the machine itself knows all of the rest of the tools you would have on the table so I don't have to if I set center for tool one and then call up a G54 that's my work coordinate system that I'm working in it already knows all of these and then I can call up tool two tool three in the program and never have to measure them again unless I change them or do something weird like a crash or uh, or you know whatever it is so it's a really great design but that's the reason there's a giant hole over here is I can have the quick change tool post set in there because I want to change tool one and you never want to cut with tool one you just want to have it as a measuring device and then I can swap it for one of my other tools I you know maybe a Oh, a facing or a profile cutting device of some sort, one of the lay tools. So, and uh, you know, I can go ahead and figure out getting back into my knurling situation. That's one of the reasons I don't have much of the knurling stuff on the site anymore. It's the way I've got it set up currently, it's just not rigid. So you know, with my turrets the way I've got them, they're just kind of sitting on their own posts. They're, they're just they're a little bit flexible, and it, it's not accurate, man. you got to be dead nuts accurate when it comes to some of the other operations I'm doing. Knurling, um, putting a hole in those quick releases to make those magnets fit just right. So this whole operation is going to just make a lot, make things a lot more rigid, more solid, better and a lot more customizable obviously these things can move back and forth i've got a lot more options for tooling i, I i've even got space for two more which i'll have i'll have one another one of these guys and then a right hand facing tool that'll live in there and i can fit a lot more stuff more is better in this case so but but also i'm also getting these out and away from the table itself and that'll keep some of the chips, some of the coolant, the debris, and just crap out of the ways. And like I said earlier, off of the off of the worm gear, worm gear cover, and uh, keep things clean and nice, because that's the way we like it. But but yeah. So uh, if you guys found this at all interesting, uh, let me know, man. Uh, give me a quick comment. Let me know your thoughts. If you think there's a better way of going about doing what I'm doing besides buying a brand new machine, then uh, yeah, because that's my only option at this point is to just throw this sucker away and go out and drop 50, 60 grand on a new Haas, which technically speaking, it would cost quite a bit more than that. That'll just get me the machine. Then I gotta probably spend another 20 grand on tooling and I'll be honest, I'm just not, uh, not, uh, not all over that one, man. So I've already got this machine. It runs. It, it works great. I know it very well, the way I've got it set up. And this will be an upgrade that should last a long time. So as long as I don't screw something up. But even if I do, worst case, I mess one of these guys up and throw it away, buy another one. So, 
But yeah, if you guys got any questions on this stuff, you want to see something I'm not covering, uh, how I made this, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. I, technically, I made most of this stuff. The table, this guy. I did have to make the posi lock because uh, Tormach does not have this one as a download on a step file. These four right here, these are step files you can pull off of their website. And uh, like I said earlier, just import them. But yeah, these are just, just uh, square chunks of material with holes cut in them. So they're not quite that, not difficult to make. But what's difficult is getting everything lined up, centered, and accurate. Alright guys, well, that's going to do it for me. It's going to do it for this video. And like, subscribe, give me a comment. Alright guys, be safe out there.